Today, we're going to be looking at the new Smoke V9 kit. Now, we just reviewed the V9 Max kit. So the big question is, how does this one compare to the Big Boy Max kit? Make sure you watch the whole review to find out exactly what I think. Here is the battery part right here. Simple, right? No screen. One button operation. Okay. There's your micro USB port. It's got a nice little expanded base on the bottom, so that's going to take some of the wobbliness out of it. All right, you can see some smoke branding over there, some stick V9 branding over there. Here is the tank that comes included in the kit. All right, I just wanted to show you guys a quick size comparison. This is the V9 Max. This is the regular V9 that we're reviewing. Now, the V9 Max is 28 millimeters in diameter. Same height, same everything, 8.5 ml capacity. The tank is 28 millimeters in diameter. When you go to the, the regular V9, okay, like I said, same height, but 24.5 millimeters in diameter. Same fire button, tank is 24.5 millimeters in diameter. And it does come with a bubble glass that holds 5 mLs versus 8.5 mLs. But you can see, very, very similar. This is a little thicker. That's the only difference. Otherwise, they're basically the same mod. Oh, yeah. This one has a 4,000 Ma internal battery. The regular V9 has a 3,000 Ma internal battery. And that's it. I mean, otherwise, very, very similar. They both feel great in the hand. Just nice, nice stick mods. Nice, like, home plate style shape firing button. There's an LED inside the battery. Five clicks turns it on, and that's basically the whole menu system. Let's check out the top of the mod. We got a spring-loaded, gold-plated 510 that I would say has a short throw with a stiff spring to it. Stainless steel threading around there. On the bottom, we do have a vent hole. I kind of like the way they made the bottom look like it comes off. It does not. This is an internal battery mod with a 3000 Ma internal battery. But I kind of like the way they made it look. They did a nice job on it. Here is the spare coil that you get in the kit. This is the S2 coil. Okay. It's basically a 0.15 ohm quadruple coil. Has a rating of 30 to 70 watts with a best of rating from 45 to 60 watts. Just a regular round wire coil. We've gone over this tank a million times, but let's go over it briefly. You got triple airflow on the bottom here with stoppers on both ends. Whatever you adjust on one side happens on the other two. Very airy tank. On the bottom, you can see we got a gold plated 510 insulator ring around it, stainless steel threading around that, designed by Smoke. On the top, we do have a proprietary drip tip. It's a little snug out of the box, but once it gets some juice on it, it's fine. Not crazy about the proprietary drip tip. You guys know in general I hate them. But this one is comfortable. In order to open up the top cap, you just hit this little locking feature right there. See that? See that right there? You just press it in and slide it open. And there's your nice big fill port. It will accommodate most juice bottles. Just be careful with bullnose bottles, but you can use them. On the bottom is where you have your O-ring right there. You do get a spare. Once you fill it up, you click it shut. And it's all locked up. It doesn't move. I really like that. 5 ml capacity here in order to access your coil. Just like every other tank. Screw the bottom off. Coil comes out with it. This is the S1 mesh coil. You can see plenty of cotton in there. Nice big juice ports. This is a 0.15 ohm coil. Good for 40 to 80 watts with a best of rating of 60 to 70 watts. Also included in the packaging is a verification card, a V9 user manual, some spare O-rings, and a micro USB cable. There is no spare glass section in this kit. And I'm going to talk about that on top, but I just want to warn you down here. No spare glass section. One more look at it, all put together. Really nice color. All right, it's almost like a slate blue, almost like a, it almost crosses over into purple. A really dark blue. Just a really nice job. I like the way they match the tank to the stick mod. 
it just works well together. So let's get into it, insiders. Let's get into the cons and the pros. First con's gonna be, man, and I say it all the time whenever smoke comes out with a new stick, I wish they would have made this in single 18650 form, especially since they made the bottom look like it's detachable. I think if Smoke started making external battery sticks, they'd sell like hotcakes. Just put a wattage screen on there and roll them out, baby. You guys know I always bring it up on internal battery mods. It's a throwaway piece. Sooner or later, you're going to cycle through that battery. It's going to be useless, and you're going to have to chuck it. The good news is you'll still have a great tank. No spare glass. Smoke. Are you guys kidding me, man? I'm getting triggered now. I got to tell you. The, the last couple of kits, stick kits, have had no spare glass. That is absolutely unacceptable. I am calling you out for it. You need to start putting spare glasses in the kit. It's total BS. And the last con is going to be the same one that we had on the VMAX. It's got a cool vape, man. It's got great flavor. It's got great clouds. But the temperature of the vape is just too cool for my liking. Let's move on to the pros because we got plenty of pros on this one as well. First pro is going to be, man, capacity. 5 mLs. I dig it. I want to be able to go out of the house and not have to refill my tank all the time. I like it. We're giving them a pro. Next pro is going to be, as with most smoke kits, it's available in a plethora of colors. That 3,000 mAh internal battery means you're going to get some good battery life. I like it. It's a pro. Two coils included in the kit. I complain when there's only one coil. I got to give you a pro when there's two. Good on you, Smoke. Now you just got to get that spare glass thing down. It's got very good flavor and clouds. Even though it's not the temperature I like to vape at, the flavor and clouds on it are actually very good. It's an easy carry, man. You can put this in your jacket pocket, you know, go on the subway, the bus, whatever you got to do. It's a real easy carry, and I like mods like that. I'm giving it a pro. How does it compare to the Smoke Stick V9 Max? It's the same thing, man, just with less capacity and less battery life. It's also in a bit of a smaller form factor. So if you like the review I did on that Smoke Stick V9 Max, but you thought that thing was too big and gaudy looking for you, this might be an option for you. My final thoughts on this one is it's a good kit if you like a cool vape. If you like a very hot, saturated type of vape, you're not going to get it off of this kit. Watch, let me show you what I'm talking about. The clouds, the flavor, they're all there. It's just not as hot as I like it. And that's what kills these kits for me, man. So if you're the type of vapor that likes a cool vape, you'll definitely dig this kit. Personally, it's not for me, but we all don't vape the same. And I got to put it out there so you guys can make informed decisions. Make sure you check out the links down below. Find out where you can pick up this little kit if you're into that cool vaping thing. Make sure you click the thumbnails on the screen. Check out some of our other videos. And that's it, folks. That's all we got today. You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.